This video is about interpreting exponential functions. An antique car is worth $50,000 now, and its value increases by 7% each year. Let's write an equation to model its value x years from now. After one year, its value is the 50,000 plus 0 0.07 times the 50,000. That's because its value has grown by 7%, or 0 0.07 times 50,000. This can be written as 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.07. Notice that adding 7% to the original value is the same as multiplying the original value by 1 plus 0 0.07, or by 1.07. After two years, the value will be 50,000 times 1 plus 0 0.07 squared, or 50,000 times 1.07 squared. That's because the previous year's value is multiplied again by 1.07. And in general, after x years, v of x, the antique car's value, will be 50,000 times 1.07 to the x. That's because the original value of 50,000 gets multiplied by 1.07 x times, one time for each year. If we dissect this equation, we see that the number 50,000 comes from the original value of the car. The 1.07, which I call the growth factor, comes from 1 plus 0.07, the 0.07 being the, the percent increase written as a decimal. So the form of this equation is an exponential equation, v of x equals a times b to the x, where a is the initial value and b is the growth factor, but we could also write this as a times 1 plus r to the x where a is still the initial value, but r is the percent increase written as a decimal. This same equation will come up in the next example. Here, my Toyota Prius is worth only 3,000 now, and its value is decreasing by 5% each year. So after one year, its value will be 3,000 minus 0 0.05 times 3,000. That is, 3,000 times 1 minus 0 0.05. I can also write that as 3,000 times 0 0.95. Decreasing the value by 5% is like multiplying the value by 1 minus 0 0.05 or by 0 0.95. After two years, the value will be multiplied by 0.95 again. So the value will be 3,000 times 0.95 squared. And after x years, the value will be 3,000 times 0.95 to the x. So my equation for the value is 3,000 times 0.95 to the x. This is again an equation of the form v of x equals a times b to the x, where here a is 3,000, the initial value, and b is 0.95. I'll still call that the growth factor, even though we're actually declining in value, not growing. Now remember where this 0.95 came from. It came from taking 1 and subtracting 0.05 because of the 5% decrease in value. So I can again write my equation in the form a times, well this time times 1 minus r to the x, where r is our 0.05, that's our percent decrease written as a decimal. Please take a moment to study this equation and the previous one. These say that when you have an exponential function, the number here is the initial value. 
If it's written in this form, B is your growth factor, but you can think of B as being either 1 minus R, where R is the percent decrease, or 1 plus R, where R is the percent increase. In this example, we're given a function, f of x, to model the number of bacteria in a petri dish x hours after 12 o'clock noon. We want to know what was the number of bacteria at noon and by what percent the number of bacteria is increasing every hour. We can see from the equation that the number of bacteria is increasing and not decreasing because the base of the exponential function, 1.45, is bigger than 1. Notice that our equation, f of x equals 12 times 1.45 to the x, has the form of a times b to the x, or we can think of it as a times 1 plus r to the x. Here, a is 12, b is 1.45, and r is 0.45. Based on this familiar form, we can recognize that the initial amount of bacteria is going to be 12, 12,000, since those are our units. And this value, 1.45, is our growth factor, what the number of bacteria is multiplied by each hour, while r, the 0.45, is the, the, the rate of increase. In other words, a 45% increase each hour. So our answers to the questions are 12,000 and 45%. In this example, the population of salamanders is modeled by this exponential function, where x is the number of years since 2015. Notice that the number of salamanders is decreasing because the base of our exponential function, 0.78, is less than 1. So if we recognize the form of our exponential function, a times b to the x, or we can think of this as a times 1 minus r to the x, where a is our initial value and r is our percent decrease written as a decimal. Our initial value is 3,000, so that's the number of salamanders zero years after 2015. Our growth factor B is 0 0.78, but if I write that as 1 minus R, I see that R has to be 1 minus 0 0.78 or 0 0.22. In other words, our population is decreasing by 22% each year. In this video, we saw that exponential functions can be written in the form f of x equals a times b to the x where a is the initial value, and b is the growth factor. We also saw that they can be written in the form a times 1 plus r to the x when the amount is increasing, and as a times 1 minus r to the x when the amount is decreasing. In this format, r is the percent increase or the percent decrease, written as a decimal. So a 15% increase will be an R value of 0 0.15 and a growth factor B of 1.15, whereas a 12% decrease will be an R value of 0.12 and a B value of 1 minus 0.12 or 0 0.7, sorry, 0 0.88. These observations help us quickly interpret exponential functions. For example, here we have an initial value of 100 and a 15% increase. And here we have an initial value of 50 and a 40% decrease.